Land of Fire, Hidden Leaf Village. There stood a boy whose clan had been eradicated by his own elder brother. A boy by the name of Sasuke Uchiha. He lived for a period of time in peace. But as soon as he began walking down the path of revenge, he slipped into darkness. And finally succeeded in conquering his brother, Itachi Uchiha. But his brother's words had all been lies. The Hidden Leaf was the real enemy. Soon, the tiny flames of hatred grew into the inferno that was the fourth great ninja war. And as the terrible conflict erupted, as he dashed toward the battlefield, Sasuke Uchiha saw someone completely unexpected. His brother had been revived into the physical world. Over time, the two came to terms with each other, and were finally brothers once more. And then, after succeeding in what he came to do, Itachi disappeared into the light. I will always love you. Leaving just one line of truth with his little brother. you are. See it, sir. And you go? We've been looking all over for you. So, what do you want with me? Why did you come all this way to find me? Uh, well, the thing is, we just happened upon a mind-blowing scroll in Orochimaru's hideout. Take a look. Well, pretty amazing, huh? Yes. They're the ones with all the answers. There's someone I need to see now. Who's that? Orochimaru. Huh? Hm? What are you talking about? You iced his ass. You know Orochimaru. You really think that'd be enough to vanquish him? Jugo, bring that woman too. Who is she? A hidden leaf ninja Kabuto kidnapped. The seal absorbed Orochimaru's chakra. We'll just use that to summon Orochimaru back. Whoa, hold on. Reviving Orochimaru is way too dangerous. Huh? Curse unsealing! Awesome. 
started, aren't we? Screw with you. This Think again. Think again. Take this. Take this. Had enough? I've limbered up. Yes. That'll do for now. Fighting him made me realize that he's a bit different from before. So... There's something I want you to do for me, Orochimaru. Yes, you really don't need to explain all that. I've been watching him the whole time, remember? And when you meet them, then what? I know too little. I want them to tell me everything. You needn't trouble yourself with all that. You're still just a child, after all. No. I'm not a child. Not anymore. I can't be a child. I need to know how it all began. I need to know who I should be. What I should be doing. I want to know everything, so I can decide what it all means for myself. I want to make my own judgments. Then I'll decide what needs to be done. I think I quite like you now. Very well. I'll help you. Come with me. Where to? <laughs> oh, to a place you know very well indeed. Come, let's go. Land of Fire, Hidden Leaf Village. Here lives a boy who dreams of becoming the village leader, the Hokage. That boy's name is Naruto Uzumaki. In his body dwell the nine-tailed fox, the mighty-tailed beast that once attacked the village, but the strong will that he was born with allowed him to run down the path of growth. However, there was trouble brewing in the ninja world. An organization known as the Akatsuki had set out to collect the Nine-Tailed Beasts, including the Nine Tails, and declared war on the ninja world, releasing the flames of a massive conflict. Once they were ignited, the flames continued to burn on and on. 
But Naruto Uzumaki just kept staring straight ahead. Having forged new bonds, he kept his eyes fixed on the future and let loose a roar. That roar grew stronger and spread. And as if they were echoes, his many allies leapt into action. Naruto. All for his sake, as he keeps on fighting. This world is meaningless now. <gasps> the ghetto statue here? Don't tell me he's ready to begin. Now, time for chaos! The roars from the splitting earth herald the end. As this battle to save the ninja world enters its final stage. The ultimate death match begins. The world no longer needs hope, a future, or any famous heroes. When this reality ends, all that will remain is a single endless dream. I had a dad, a mom, an old man sage. Kids look up to heroes. So I'm gonna keep charging ahead without losing my way. I'm gonna become the best Hokage there's ever been! That's my dream, you idiot! the same as my Kamui. What? My hypothesis is right, and we're using the same jutsu, and our eyes must be the same. Which means that the space-time dimension that appears must also be the same. I can use that to our advantage. If my hunch is correct, then the one behind that mask is... I've got a pretty good idea what's going through your head right now, Kakashi. This is no time to be sentimental. Akashi, whatever you've got on this lead, it doesn't scare me. All your power is gone. I knew it. Kakashi. Tail beast bomb! You're too late. 
You're wasting your time. What? Impossible. Nowhere to run now, Toby. I, I get it. My attack isn't what erased that shadow clone. It was Kamui. Damn Kakashi. He figured out that we're connected to the same space. This is it! Who are you? There was all this going on under the Leaf Shrine. Now, let's begin. <clears throat> Reaper Death Seal, release! This mask is necessary in order to use the Jutsu written in that scroll. Using this calls out the Reaper, which then possesses the user. Then we can release the things that were sealed by the Reaper. Jugo, Sasuke, Suigetsu, get ready! Now, Jugo. Use your chakra to make the extraction from Sasuke. That should draw out the spores of the Zetsu that Toby set as Sasuke's watchdog. They'll serve as the sacrifices to summon the Four. Reanimation Jutsu! <laughs> Come now. Come! The ones who know everything. The former Hokage! Oh, the... the first Hokage? Hashirama Senju, feared as the god of all ninja in the flesh. What's going on here? The Reaper Death Seal. They must have released it somehow. And then used reanimation. Looks like we've been brought back to life, First Hokage. Reanimation again? Everyone seems to have no trouble using the jutsu I invented. There's a reason for this. I simply prepared all this to grant his wishes. My name is Sasuke Uchiha. I have some questions for you, Hokage. What? Sasuke? First of all, third, why did you make my brother do what he did? I see. So you know. I still want to hear it from your mouth. Everything about Itachi. He killed his fellow clan members. 
and stopped a coup. The man single-handedly prevented a war. He even installed himself in the Akatsuki as a spy after that, to keep the village safe. All under the condition that I protect you, his younger brother. So it was really true. Now, first, I ask you. What is the village? What does it mean to be a ninja? Itachi, my brother, was prepared to protect the Hidden Leaf with his life, despite knowing he'd been used by the village. And he was proud to be a shinobi of the Leaf. What does it mean to give up your own life to protect a village? And what about the ninja that creates such a situation and believe that it's okay? I want to hear it from you. I want to hear the truth so I can decide for myself. Should I take revenge on the village, or...? Revenge on the village? <clears throat> you think I'm just going to let you...? Tobirama! Lower your hand. Fine. <laughs> well, excuse me. Well, you want to know about the village, you say? I'd be glad to tell you what you want to know, but it might take some time. No. Please just tell the boy what he wants to know as quickly as possible. What do you mean? We're in the middle of a war here. Madara Uchiha has come back to life and is trying to destroy every last ninja in the world. <gasps> yes, I can sense a powerful chakra presence at two o'clock. The second Hokage is right. I'm picking up some intense chakra too. But it's not just that. No, I think... Ah, this feeling. Naruto, you're fighting too, aren't you? If Madara's back, talking will have to wait. We can't afford to sit around here and do nothing. I'm sorry, but if you want to head to the battlefield, I must insist we finish our conversation first. If you can't provide Sasuke with the answers he desires, I wouldn't put it past him to use you all to destroy the Hidden Leaf. Damn you, Orochimaru! Don't worry, Orochimaru. We understand. Our first priority should be finding a way to ease up what's binding him. So, where should I begin? Well, in order to explain what a village and a ninja are, I must first explain about the two clans, the Uchiha and the Senju. We fought and fought. Both of us were at the very end of our ropes. And we both knew the end had to be in sight for one of us. Yeah. <laughs> 
Madara. Why? It's over, Madara. Then finish me. Can't do it. That is your problem, Hashirama. You're soft. Yeah. I'll do anything to protect our... No, to protect my village, no matter what happens. I believe that protecting the village means protecting the people of the Hidden Leaf. The ninja, the children. I don't care who it is. My friend, my brother, or my own child. I won't forgive anyone who threatens it. You have your priorities mixed up. That will create darkness in the village. Someday. <clears throat> That's when I found my resolve. My resolve to protect the village to the bitter end. I don't know how he resurrected himself now, but I buried my friend for good that day. For the sake of the village. Which brings me to the village itself. What Madara and I envisioned at first was a place for clans to come together and connect. A way to bring order out of chaos, and keep it that way. It was a place where our children could be safe, where no pointless battles were fought, a place of peace. But the fact is, it created a darkness like the one that your brother Itachi bore. Perhaps Madara was right. Perhaps he saw all that coming. I'm the one who created that situation. I'm the only one who gave it the okay. You see, to me, a ninja is someone who bears anything necessary to achieve his goal. However, a ninja is also shaped by what sort of goal he strives for. Just like Madara and I. A ninja is someone who bears whatever it takes to reach his goal. That's what I built the village on. But Madara had a different ideal. I don't know about Madara's current resurrection. I don't know what's behind this idea of his to wipe out the world's ninja, but... Infinite Tsukuyomi. Regardless of clan, creed, country, or anything. He wants to trap everyone in a genjutsu so he can make things happen exactly as he desires. Everything my brother and you fought so hard to protect. He wants to destroy it all. Then we can't afford to stay here a moment longer. Now that you've heard the first Tokage's explanation, what do you intend to do with it? Will you turn your blade toward the hidden leaf? Or... Sasuke, forgive me. Even as I kept pushing you away, I didn't want to pull you in. But now I think of it this way. Maybe you could have changed father, mother, the Uchiha clan, if I'd faced you honestly from the very beginning. If we'd told each other the truth as equals. I failed. I won't put myself above you and tell you this and that. It's too late. 
So this time for once, let me tell you one small truth. It's all right if you never forgive me. But, no matter what you become, I will always love you. I'm going into battle. The village. Itachi. I won't let it all be in vain. Well said. Come then, there's no time to lose. So, that's the path you've chosen. Now, show me what you're capable of. Sasuke Uchiha. Your new wind.